Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. For suspects of a possible robbery homicide that ended in four people dead. It happened last night in a Fort Worth neighborhood just before 7 p.m. Officers arrived to find the victims in a car full of drugs and guns. People living nearby heard the gunfire and even caught some of it on video. Fox Force Peyton Yeager joins us now with the story. Peyton. Blake and Fort Worth police are now combing through surveillance video of the shooting. No arrests have been made. This evening, Fort Worth police released the suspect was driving a gray Dodge Challenger. So I ran up to the window and I saw a car driving off. So I ducked my round, hoping nothing would hit me. Anna Pekorska is shook to her core Saturday evening. 24 hours ago, her street was a crime scene involving a quadruple murder. She remembers hearing loud gunfire, only to then walk outside to a bullet riddled SUV near her front yard. The car that was shut up, it had probably 10 or 12 bullet holes in it. Fort Worth police say Friday evening around 7 p.m. officers found four people shot inside a vehicle near Beverly and East Jezamine in the Morningside neighborhood. Three died on scene. The fourth was rushed to a hospital, but later died. No arrests have been made. What we can tell you is that our early clues are telling us that this is going to be uh, a robbery homicide that does involve drugs. Investigators found drugs inside the SUV along with multiple firearms, including the weapons used in the shooting. This is a great community. It's very tragic that something like this would happen. No names or ages of the deceased have been released, but Saturday Fort Worth PD released the suspect is driving a gray Dodge Challenger. I said, go outside, come on, that somebody's shutting something, I don't know. Neighbor Barbara Gonzalez was outside decorating for Halloween when she heard gunshots. She ran over to the SUV to try to help, telling Fox 4 the victims were young men. Said, oh my God, it's, somebody's shutting bed or something. Multiple neighbors turned over surveillance video of the shooting to police. In one video shown to Fox 4, the SUV pulls up behind the gray Challenger just before 7 p.m. A person gets out of the Challenger and into the SUV. Seconds later, shooting starts in the SUV and the Challenger takes off. Now neighbors like Pekorska are living on edge. Thank God I don't have any kids, but I'm worried for my life. Fort Worth police say it's unclear if the four dead lived in the area. They do tell me they believe this was an isolated incident, but again, no one has been arrested.